Well, that was interesting. It's actually a Tuesday, guys. Roll the intro. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Let's get right into it. What is up everyone? Welcome back to another tutorial. This channel is becoming a tutorial channel and I don't want it to be that. So I've been working a lot lately on stuff like this. You wanna give me some thunder? You wanna see if I bleed? Say it loud to me when it begun. I don't know where it's looking from. And I've been a little bit busy. And like a little bit because I've been super procrastinating and distracted, and that's a big factor. If you guys do not know me, my name is Robert Hill. I do adventure stuff, photography, um, travel films, and really everything. I don't really have a genre at all. I, it's, it's random. That's my genre, random, because that's a genre. That, 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 whatever. You get the point. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a partial glitch effect that I kind of showed in the intro. So here's some examples that I actually used in some of my videos. Pretty freaking, it's it's a very easy thing to do. So there's two ways to do this, one with plugins, which is like 10 bucks, and then one with overlays that you can also do. I'm just gonna be using plugins from Ryan Angle. He's an awesome YouTuber, has amazing plugins. Just check him out, link in description. So let's just get right into it. Now that we are in two different types of examples that you can use for this. So let's just jump right into the first clip with my friend uh, John. So what you're gonna do is have your clip in the storyline and just you're gonna press Command C and then go to the front of your clip and press Command V and then drag that on top. If you don't get these little yellow lines at the end, just click on this thing, it's called snapping and it'll just bring it into place. So now that you've done that, you're going to click this top clip and go to the effects browser, type in Luma Cure. I have one already set, but you just drag that onto your top clip. And what you're gonna wanna do next is just blank out this bottom one by pressing V on your keyboard. So now drag the Luma key over the black first and then the white. We want to get rid of much as much of the sky as possible. So this version of the effect works best with a white background. You can use what's called a keyer as well to do the same thing, but um, because this is a white background, I am just using a Luma keyer. So after you have most of this area black, you can just press V on your other clip. Now go to your effects browser. So I am going to be using Ryan Angle's Glitch a Pack, which I will also link in the description. And it's a, it's a really good good pack. It's just the effects, it's no transitions. And it gives you a lot of different unique things. So what I'm going to do is really increase the amount of glitching behind John, just to really show that stuff is happening behind him. And I'm gonna try adding this as well just to see what happens. And as you can see, John is in focus because everything that is in black here is going to have the effect happen to it. So you can really drag anything in between these as well. You don't necessarily have to use a glitch plugin. So for the next one, I'm going to be using a mask and because there is a lot of different colors. There's not one solid color to just key out. You have to use masks instead. So again, just copy and paste that on top of each other. Go to the effects browser and type in draw mask. Select that and basically I want this to be 
out of focus. So what I'm going to do is just zoom in to 150, get to the edge, just so I can be accurate with this. Zoom back out. And the leg kind of to do it. Now we can just press V. Yes, yeah, so this is selected. Um, just because there is some movement, we're going to select the keyframes for this mask and adjust it to the frame. So zoom. I'm just going to do a sloppy one because with the glitch plugin, you can actually kind of, you don't have to be very accurate with it. You can kind of do whatever you want and just go to fit here. Skip some frames, just move that. Obviously, there, so that's, that's kind of a rough version, but you just go back and do the exact same thing to that other layer and you can drag things in between here so there's another way to do it is just get an adjustment layer drag that put it in between and so this is if you had maybe a glitch video from uh, from YouTube that you downloaded and you can just select it in between here and I'm still going to use the glitch plugins because they look better to me because they actually manipulate the video itself so you can see I'm just gonna add one more layer just does this really cool effect and you can turn off this mask you can cut this turn off this mask and then put in say any any transition that you have it doesn't really matter what you use and it just uh, does this really cool thing. So yeah, that's the uh, tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am using a new mic. It's called a Blue Yeti mic. Um, if there's any like pops, I don't have a pop filter yet. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. enjoyed that tutorial. I've been told by so many of my friends that I do this and I talk with my hands in all my videos and it's very true like I am uh, I'm unconsciously doing it while looking at my hand. Stop. <laughs> if I do that I apologize you're just gonna have to live with it because I cannot help it. That's, that's you're gonna have to live with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want me to do next. Something that I've been thinking about for a while is actually doing these like PewDiePie, how to edit like PewDiePie, which is actually how to edit like PewDiePie's editor, Brad and Scythe. No, Scythe, no one cares about Scythe. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Goodbye.